Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to be starting part one of this two-part Super Star Destroyer. Enjoy. This build is massive, so I'm just going to get right into the building process. Here's the top piece and I'm going to save this for later because now we're going to have to build a structure for the bottom two pieces. I just need the bottom pieces uh, to not be put together yet so I could trace out the same angle. So I cut out a few of these angles. They are at 150 degrees. We're going to put these right there and that will hold this shape together. I'll put another one up front there. Right here, I used some scrap pieces from the uh, panels I just cut out and I taped them together. I'm gonna flip it over so it bends inward and I'm going to glue it in place right here to cover up that bay area. I'm going to start building the um, main engine source. And of course I cut out a slot right here. Uh, and this will be the shape of the engines right here. That's gonna slide in. And then underneath the destroyer, I have another piece. I'm going to build a wall about a one and a half inches thick. And that will be the engine for uh, this area. Something like this. I'm gonna glue it in place right there. To add more height, I'm going to use a strip of cardboard and I'm going to glue it right on the edge all the way around this uh, engine. So in order to put another layer down, which is this piece, I have these supports here that will keep it level. And of course, I'm going to glue these pieces of cardboard down so there's more support because it's going to be kind of floating above this piece right here. And then you got some more supports, which I will glue down. And eventually we're going to build a little ridge that goes all the way around, which will be kind of the trench area of the Star Destroyer. As you can see, I added that rim right there. Now that the most important piece of this build, which is the structural core of it, uh, is finished, we are going to add this top piece right here. Now that that is attached finally, I'm going to start adding some engines to this piece right here. 
The engine pieces are very simple. They're a piece of thicker cardboard tube with a piece of toilet paper uh, roll wrapped around it. And then you just make a bunch of those. For the engine system right here, I'm going to cut out several L-shaped pieces of cardboard. Um, for one side, I'm gonna glue an engine uh, backwards here, right in the middle of that L, and they're each gonna overlap like it does in the image. Just like so. And then I'm going to install this rack of engines right in that slot, just like that. And then I do it to the other side as well. All right, so this is our progress so far. So now I'm going to add a little bit of height to this flat area right here so it can smoothly transition to the engines. So to start, I have these two pieces right here glued together. I'm going to glue that right here, but lift it at an angle. And then what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna add this piece of cardboard just like that. And then that will continue that angle. I'm making a small adjustment here. I'm gonna move the engine back a little bit, put some walls back up and just fill that area in because it needs to be longer. Now what I'm gonna do is use some scraps. I'm gonna place them right there. And that is just to keep covering up all those voids. It's looking pretty good actually. And then I'm just going to fill up that void right there above this engine and then just continue filling up the rest of the open spaces. And then we're gonna move on to the top. Now that that is done, I'm going to make a small repair right here. I'm going to add some more length to the shell here because I managed to cut that too short. So I'm just going to take a scrap piece of cardboard and I'm going to hold it on the inside like that. Just assuming that that's straight enough. And then I'm going to trace the outside shape so I can cut this out and it will, it will fit within the structure. And here are the two pieces. And then when I glue them together, it's going to fit into that profile shape on the destroyer. So I filled all the crevices with some wood filler here just so it's a smooth transition. So the last thing I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to remove this temporary support here. And um, that was just to keep the whole profile shape intact. Uh, and of course, I'm going to have to make this video into two parts. And this is just such a large project. That's what it's going to have to be. So. So this is the current progress of the Executor class Imperial Star Destroyer. And this is going to have to wrap it up for this video because this amount of progress alone already took nine minutes worth of video. And even if I edit it down, it's still gonna be that long. So this is going to be part one of this massive build. So this is going to be it for the first half. And of course, like and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.